Hey, I'm Dagny. And in this video, I want to talk to you about being healthy in Ghana, making your own way in Ghana, uh, and the food industry and the restaurant business. And in, again, instead of just me talking about it, I want to give you special insight from someone who's in it. So as you can see behind me, this is Tatabe Vegan Restaurant, and we're going to speak with the owner and founder, Ben. So, let's go. So I'm here with Ben Asimani, uh, owner of Tatale Vegan Restaurant here in Osu. And like I said, we're talking about making your own way in Ghana, the food industry in Ghana, being healthy in Ghana. So thank you so much, Ben, for taking the time to share with us. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, um, for me, it's always a privilege to do this kind of interviews because for me, it helps somebody somewhere to understand the importance of eating well and live well. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Of course, of course. So to start, uh, can you share with me how did you get started in the restaurant business? Um, I have to take you back. Okay. When I was growing up, about 15 and a half year old, before my 16th birthday, uh, here in Ghana, uh, a guy from America, he was invited by the Seventh Day Adventist Church to do a health program. So a friend of my dad was invited. So this guy came to our house to come and ask my dad if he would go with him. Mm -hmm. And my dad not interested. In, in those days, when I hear America, it's like heaven on earth for me, you know? So when I hear the guy said, the man from America, that alone, I said, oh, I wish I could go there. Mm -hmm. And so when my father doesn't show interest in him, I asked, can I go with him? Mm -hmm. And so the man said, yeah, let's go. And I did not know that that day would be a turning point in my life. Even though I was young, the man talking about, and he used the word like this, a, a healthy lifestyle. Mm. And I use that word up to today, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And he talked about how we can eat well and live well. I remember these two statements from the guy. Eat well, live well, a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And then he showed us a video of some people in America, about 90, 95 years old, very strong, mm -hmm. uh, some driving some um, juggling, you know. Then, you know, a young boy coming up, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. So I said, I would love to do this. But when the guy is talking, the whole thing just came to my mind. I would love to be like this. Mm -hmm. And so after the meeting, no, during the meeting, I was asking, so what did they eat? The man had it. He said, we will get to that, young man. Then the guy, the guy show, he, 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 there's a table and there's a lot of food, um, like vegetables and beans, you know, but it was covered, so I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. So when the guy came to the point, he said, look here, I come from America telling you how to eat well and live well. Um, I didn't come to tell you, you have to go to America to eat that dish. Mm -hmm. Do you see all these things here? This, all this thing here is from Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I was so convinced that this is something that I can do. Mm -hmm. So it started from there. Okay. In those days, I didn't know something called veganism. Mm -hmm. um, I hardly hear about, about vegetarianism. Okay. So I, uh, then in my early 20s, I found myself in the UK mm -hmm. and there I discovered that there are some vegetarian uh, uh, societies mm -hmm. and the vegan societies. Even though not many people doing uh, practicing this as compared to today. Mm -hmm. um, then I went to, the first time I went to Indian restaurant mm -hmm. in London mm -hmm. because somebody told me they prepare the food that I, I eat. And I, rem I also remember the dish I wanted to have that, that, that particular day. 
there's a yogurt in it. Mm. And I asked the guy, is there any dairy in this? He said, yeah, yogurt in it. But he didn't say anything wrong with it. Then I said, I don't think that, uh, uh, anything there. Yeah, yeah. So they prepare a different dish for me. And because I cook for myself, I found myself working in hotels and restaurants, doing some dishwashing and things like that. And observing, observing what um, um, the, the, the chefs are doing, they give me more knowledge of how I can prepare my food. And then I finally decide, you know, I have to go get some training so that I become a proper chef. So I got the training and I became a chef. And because I'm a vegan or eating plant-based, I, I start cooking vegan food, look at menus and see how I can, I can turn some dishes that is popular. For example, um, because I've been working in the kitchen, I got to know that there's a dish called strogonoff. Okay, right. Yeah, strogonoff is a cream dish with beef. Mm. I said, how can I turn this into into um, a vegan? And I was able to do some experiment, and I used cashew to do the cream or made a cream. So. So this is how the whole thing developed. Yes. Okay. Uh, In terms of starting a restaurant, this Tatale vegan restaurant is your second restaurant. Yes. Right? Um, as I said, I I live in the UK. Right. I still live there. Okay. okay. Um, and because of my love for this, I was looking to have like a kiosk and do let's say some salad and some fresh juices. And a friend who knows what I can do, he said, no. Before then, I worked for a few vegetarian and vegan restaurants. Um, in, you know, in the Seventh-day Adventist church, they believe very strong in this. Mm. And so there's a, a restaurant it's called Country Life in London. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to work for them for a few years. Um, there's a guy who, a good friend, He's a medical doctor. He said, okay, let's open a restaurant. And we did. We call it plant. Okay. Yeah, we're hoping to plant more of that. Mm -hmm. You know, London, um, the rent is very expensive. Mm -hmm. And we we run it for three and a half years and we have to close it. Mm -hmm. So I was looking to have a kiosk mm -hmm. to, to as I said earlier, some sandwiches, mm -hmm. some Salad and fresh juices, and this friend of mine who knows me, who knows what I can do, he and his wife said, "No, Ben, you have more to offer than just doing salad and that." Mm -hmm. And the, I said, "I can't afford to get a place," mm -hmm. and he, he, he decided to help me, him and his wife, um, and. That made me happy. Mm -hmm. um, not because he has made me have the opportunity to have a restaurant, but I'm doing something that I love and I believe in. Right. Yeah, so this guy said, go to such a place uh, in Fulham and North End Road. He said, go to the place. If you like the place, then. Mm. And so that began, and he has been a great help for me. Mm -hmm. So that restaurant is still running. Okay. Uh, it's called 222 Vegan Cuisine. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In London, it's popular. A lot of people know it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, every time I come to Ghana, I felt my people are eat, not eating right. Mm. So I said, why can't I open a vegan restaurant? Even though there are one or two vegan places mm -hmm. in, in Accra. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a friend who owned this place, make it possible. And uh, also, if somebody I know from London, yeah. um, possible. And what I'm doing is not to make money. <laughs> of course, if I have money, I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. I will do more. Mm -hmm. But for me, is to help people to understand the importance mm -hmm. of eating plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. uh, 
um, it's good for the environment, it's good for the animals, mm-hmm. and it's good for us as mm-hmm. humans. Mm-hmm. And and that's why I call it uh, a healthy lifestyle. Mm-hmm. What has been your experience with either the plant-based community or market here, mm-hmm. or the vegan community? Because I noted, yes, in yeah. Because I noted the term vegan can sometimes some people may see like see it as I think because it's kind of been hijacked as like it's a Western thing. We don't do that here, yeah. even though we have all the ingredients yes, here yes. for it. So is it is it a new <clears> thing? Is it something yeah. actually we've always been doing, but it just has a different term? Okay. What's your experience? Okay, my experience. Is, yeah. Before even we think of doing this here, mm-hmm. friends, relatives, and, uh, no. Ghana don't eat this. Mm. There is a truth in it to understand. That's why, for me, you have to educate the people. Okay. Because, for example, again, I'm not trying to put some of the business down, but I, I don't see anything good that KSU offers. <laughs> you see? You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, but the people working there, they don't know. Mm-hmm. We have to educate them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's a lot of um, African Americans coming mm-hmm. home, coming to Ghana, mm-hmm. and most of them eat plant-based diet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and sometimes when they come and they come with their drivers, who is the uh, native Ghanaian? Yes. Yeah. They say, no, no, no I, I don't want to eat this. Food. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what I do now, I I adopt a system that like I go to them. I said, why do you want to eat? Mm-hmm. Then are you Ghanaian? I say, yes. Yeah. Why can't I eat? Why do you want to eat without without me? <laughs> then I said, listen, listen, I have red 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 red. Mm. So you know red red? I said, yes, that's a cat. <laughs> so red red. Then. And then they will come yes. and they will eat. Uh-huh. They said, oh, it is better than the one I used to eat. Oh, so, wow. Yes. You see? <laughs> so this is how to educate them. Yes. Then, um, in fact, one guy one time he said, okay, this is fine, but fufu, mm-hmm. to eat fufu without meat, no. Nah. Right. One day, yeah, 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 population. <laughs> yes. One day, I asked, I asked one of them to, to try the fufu, and when we brought the fufu, the guy thought we made fufu for him with the meat, right. because you see all the mushroom, mm. the tofu, and the vegetables on top of the fufu mm. for him. And the guy was eating it halfway. He said, "So this also don't have meat." In it. Mm. And I said, "Yeah." I said, "But do you like it?" He said, yeah, perfect, perfect. Mm. I said. So, these are some of the things that, um, again, to educate them. But, um, there is everything here. Mm-hmm. More than, you know, in the, in, in the world, in the Europe, in America, they will import some of the things there. Right. But here, it's here. Mm-hmm. But the people don't know how to use it. And so, I'm even thinking, I'm going to prepare a menu for gotten African or Ghanaian dishes. Mm. Because there are some good food that we used to eat when we were children. And they just threw it away. Mm. And, you know, I hear more about Indo than eating the traditional, you know, the restaurant is called Tatari. Tatale is a dish in Accra here. And they, they use rap plantain. Mm-hmm. And they season it with some ginger and some spicy. And, uh, and then they, f- they, they fry it in a pan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's Tatale. And they cook something like bambala beans. Right. Right. For me, this is a dish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are forgotten those things. And even those who use it today, sometimes they add sugar mm-hmm. to the bambala bean, yeah. which yeah. I don't understand. Again, we have to educate them. Mm-hmm. You know, some sad thing I, I discovered here in Ghana, a lot of young people die. Mm-hmm. And they, they whenever someone passed, mm-hmm. they, they have a poster. Yeah. Then they put, on, they put a picture, they talk about his age, right. then they said, gone too soon. Right. Sometimes they said, what a shock. Mm. And some people said, painful as it. Mm. And for them, it's like a, a fashion now. Mm. Put it now. No, 
We have to reverse this. So what is killing them? Some don't drink water. They don't understand the importance of water. You prefer to drink some sugar drink, and that's fine for them. So these are some of the challenges that I personally feel we need to educate the people. Now, when I come up with some, some of the dishes that they forgot, they say, oh yes, you know, oh yes. I said, but why? You know, what I don't think makes me sad here in Ghana. When we were growing up, we had porridge. Oh, really? Yeah, porridge, and they put it in the calabash. Okay. You know, you know, you know calabash? Yes, yes. Yeah. Today, they put the porridge in the plastic. And the plastic destroys right. that porridge before they drink it. Right. Is the porridge cocoa? Uh, 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 cocoa. Yes. Yeah, it's corn. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Corn. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. And I like cocoa. I yeah, like yeah. Cocoa. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, very good. Yeah. 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 But not in the plastic. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. It, it, it was in the calabash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. And when I'm talking to people who know these things, mm -hmm. they say, oh, yes. And I said, but why? He said, oh, it's easier to do that. I said, no. Mm -hmm. That will bring painful exit. Mm -hmm. That will bring what a shock. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. But all come down to education. I would love to do more of this on their national television. Oh, okay. Yeah. To be able to tell them, tell them, look, this is what you have been eating, mm. and this is what um, um, I am giving you. Mm. Yeah. And the reason I'm giving you this is because it's this and that and that. Right. And then also remind them about some good food that we have here in Ghana mm. that, that we push aside. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the business side, which has yeah. been the restaurant. What has your experience been with like the restaurant industry here in Ghana? Um, <laughs> You know, and I'm saying this, and, and this is the truth. Um, in the UK, you pay tax. You pay business rate to the local council. But the local council is there to help you. To... Um, to help you to for your business to grow. Mm -hmm. um, what I discover here is that some of the government agencies mm -hmm. they are only interested to come and take money from you. Mm -hmm. I, I remember somebody came to us when we first opened, and he said uh, we are here to collect business operating permit mm -hmm. rate money from. Business operating permit, yes. And okay, so because I'm new in the system, mm -hmm. my accountant have been advising me okay. all, all these things. So the guy came, you have to give some money, pay some money, and the guy just pulled a receipt from his, his bar. Mm -hmm. This is a receipt. I had the question why do you have to do the payment this way? Mm -hmm. And someone said to me, That's the system. But I think that system is wrong. Okay. Somebody from the office. All that they have to do is send a letter to us mm -hmm. that your your business permit um, of, um, 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 the fee or whatever it is, right, right. is due. Yeah. Go to the sort of bank and pay. Mm -hmm. And so we get the receipt. Right. So somebody can come around and say, I'm going to check those things. Mm -hmm. and receipt. Mm -hmm. But for me to give the money to somebody, right. I don't feel comfortable. I don't trust that receipt. And I'm saying this mm -hmm. and um, Anyone can come question me about it. <laughs> this is wrong. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, because of what is happening in our world today, it affected a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of unemployed people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though we are a small restaurant, we have a few individuals who are working here, mm -hmm. which we are grateful. Mm -hmm. But if everybody coming from left and right, say I'm from so and so department, come right. take this, and that, and take that, then you ask yourself, mm -hmm. That they're worth it, mm -hmm. you see, because one, one, 
one day I was here and someone came and said, we are from Ghana Tour Tourism Board. Okay. And you, are, you, you, you want to check if you are registered with us. And, mm -hmm. and we are last. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then I said, tell me what you do. Mm -hmm. And everything they are telling me for me, sorry, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> You know, and I start questioning. Right, right. And one of them said, Well, if you're copy and paste, we'll come and close your business. Oh. And I said, You can't close it. Mm -hmm. I said, You can't close it. Mm -hmm. You see, and all this is lack of knowledge and lack of education. Mm -hmm. It will not help businesses. Right. What I'm just telling you is, in the West, in the UK, the local council help you. Mm -hmm. Anything to involve the business, mm. they helping you, mm. not with money, right. with advice. Right. They tell you, oh, we have different electricity companies. Mm. They can tell you which one is it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, those uh, 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 credit cards companies, mm. banks are coming, mm. um, some financial institutions are coming. Mm. They tell you, look, this, that, that, that. Their terms and conditions better for you because. Yeah. The local government, who you have your business in their in their borough, right. they want to see businesses in the borough, mm -hmm. and they got business rates, mm -hmm. and so they want to help you. Right. Right. Um, our second year, the same people from business of pretty permit, mm -hmm. they came, not even asking how is business. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are here again to collect money. You know, oh. if, if you look at these things, yeah. you know, it's not right. Mm -hmm. So if you're asking me about how do I see the business mm -hmm. uh, or this hospitality industry in Ghana, mm -hmm. this is what I'm telling you. Okay. This is happening directly. Yeah, right. And many other things. Um, I remember, you know, that some of the countries say health and safety. Mm. Good, good. But I have to buy a ball and put on the street line. Mm. Right. To get a light. Right, right. You see, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Right. And so but, oh it's normal. To me, this this, this shouldn't be normal. Mm -hmm. You see. And then the same person will come and tell you, oh, you are not going according to the health and safety laws. And mm -hmm. we've been a course of this, you know. Mm -hmm. That's nonsense. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. So I think the government have a lot to do to educate their agencies. Okay. To know how to approach businesses. Mm. Because we have a plan to open more of this, which will create a, uh, a job for many people, young right. people. Yeah. So if we are facing those questions and oh, things that, you know, yeah. yeah, it will not encourage us to do mm. it. Yeah. So. And are those scenarios, is it is there fraud happening too, as in people pretending to be? Like they're coming from the agency? No, no, or no. they're all really coming from the agency? They are coming from the agency. Okay. So okay. The, the, the agencies, look, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. One example. We have a, a food truck mm -hmm. which we go around totally. Okay. There's some sticker you have to buy when you are um, driving in, in, you know, in a city. Mm -hmm. the, the sticker, we bought a sticker in June mm -hmm. for one year. Mm -hmm. In February, in February, somebody stopped the van and he said, um, your sticker is fine. Mm -hmm. I was a no. Mm -hmm. It's for one year. Mm -hmm. So oh, our year and December. I said, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Why can't you yeah. sell me the sticker right. from June to December? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I move the van a lot because mm -hmm. I know I have a sticker. Mm -hmm. um, when I get to the restaurant, I want to certify mm -hmm. because those departments fall under the local government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I went to ministry. Question it is. Mm -hmm. And you see, everything it comes down to education. Okay. You know, in the UK, don't ask you how is business, mm -hmm. but oh, you have to pay this. If not, I close it down. Mm -hmm. um, 
that sticker issue with the van, mm -hmm. I have to make an appointment to see somebody. Right. And in their book, it's true that it, uh, they, are, they are here in December, but I don't know this. And when I'm going to buy the, 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 the sticker, nobody tells me that you are buying for one year. Right. Right. Again, we need education. Yeah. And you communication. See? Yeah, yeah, communication. Mm -hmm. Educate the people. Yeah. You know. So these are some of the things that, mm -hmm. and many, but <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> some of the frustrations. Yeah, frustration. Yes. Yeah. Going back to the uh, the positive side, but the exciting side yeah. for the restaurant. Yeah. What is your process in creating your menu? Okay. <clears throat> um, before I answer that, I, I, I tell you something. Okay. When we first opened a restaurant in London, mm -hmm. by the way, it's called Two 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 Vegan Cuisine. Yeah. Yes. In Fulham, <clears throat> and our second day, a young lady was passing. Then you look at the menu. The following day, she came in to eat. And she ordered, we have risotto on the menu. Okay, yeah. You know risotto? Mm -hmm. Okay. And she didn't like it. Uh -huh. So she came in the evening. So the following day, there's somebody cleaning the front of the restaurant. She stopped and said, Oh, you guys don't know how to cook. You are wasting your time. Mm. This restaurant will never survive. Mm. I didn't enjoy that dish. Ah, oh, horrible. Mm. So the one that she, she moved on. She lived in the area. Okay. So I was told. So when I said to the, the one who told me, I said, when she's coming back, then I want to see her. Mm. So I'm going to answer your question yes. about this. Yeah. So I called a young lady and I, I said, oh, I heard what you said. Mm. But can I ask you something? He said, yeah, ask me. She was upset. She yeah. asked me. Mm. I said, which part of the world do you come from? Mm. And she said, she's from Morocco. Ah, okay. North Africa. Yes, right. I said, you order the wrong food. Mm -hmm. I said, you don't eat risotto. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They said, what do you mean? I, I said, you order the wrong food. Mm. And and she said, she said, then I said, look, Anytime today, tomorrow, you know, come, I'll prepare a dish for you on the menu mm. that you eat. Okay. And I said, okay. Mm. It's okay. Mm. And I prepared from stir fry. Okay. And I add some chickpea to it. Yes. Okay. And the lady eat everything. Mm -hmm. And she said, how do you know? That I would like this dish. Mm. I said, because of where you're coming from. Though some people like me, I like to try it. Yes. Yeah. But some they stick to. Right. So preparing the menu in Ghana, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I am coming to introduce some Western dishes to Ghanaian, you know? Okay. <laughs> and The Ghanaians don't come. Mm. The foreigners that came, mm -hmm. they first ask, do you have some fufu? Mm. Do you have some this, some that? Right. Do you have some jollof? Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. this is. Then I said, ah. So quickly, I changed the menu. Okay. I still leave one or two dishes in West yeah. Yeah. I put a lot of Ghanaian or African dishes mm -hmm. in the menu. Mm -hmm. And trust me. The Americans come, mm -hmm. that's what they order. Mm. That's why I came up with this red red. Yes, yeah. I have jollof there. Right. I have um I have uh, a goosey yeah. and I have yeah. I have the, the cozy and right. you know, you right. see. So this is what I've experienced. In fact, okay. I am now thinking of preparing a menu uh, like all day breakfast mm. and all will be the the, the Ghanaian dishes that they are good, that they forgot mm -hmm. or they stopped eating it, I'll bring them back. Okay. Yeah. And by doing so, you are educating them mm -hmm. to understand and to eat well and live well. Mm -hmm. So, this is my experience okay. when it comes to preparing the menu. Okay. Yeah. Okay, our next question was how do you make
maintain customer service. Okay. That is something that people okay. tend to complain about yeah. quite a lot here. Yeah. But I've noticed in my experience coming here, yeah. customer service has always been like yeah, 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 yeah. So, I will, I will, I will stand on this. You know, you know. <laughs> And sometimes when when we hear the com the customer telling us how wonderful our service is, mm -hmm. then I call the staff. I said, "Are you listening?" <laughs> you know, um, you know, if I have time and I have money, I will set up something that will run a customer service business. I that mean, would be very good. yeah, to yes. educate people to understand what customer service is all about. Mm -hmm. Um, Ghana like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, not only in a, not only in a hospitality industry yes. or restaurant, no. yeah. everywhere you go. Yes. Look, someone was telling me they went to a place and uh, they went to a place and they wanted to 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 um, uh, order some jollof mm -hmm. right? And the staff said, "Oh, we don't have it today." And just gone, hmm. you know. Hmm. Yeah, you see, and <clears throat> you see from the managers in the restaurants, mm -hmm. and so that the owners, you know. Mm -hmm. You see, I don't understand. You see, a restaurant is so old. You, even the owner, might be like a, a service person mm -hmm. to the customer. Right. You know, when you go to, you know, we don't like McDonald's food, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I can speak about UK. You see a manager. You see a manager mm -hmm. in, the, in McDonald's. Okay. You see the name by mm. manager, mm -hmm. but you see him cleaning the tables mm. and checking the toilet. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, um, he, over here it's not like that. Mm. And so, um, even the person serving thing, I'm the boss. Okay. You know, right. you you come in to to eat, you have to respect me that I'm the boss. Mm. So I can serve you anyhow. I can no. You see, so customer service is a problem, and I'm saying this for um, this industry to to right because we have more people foreign if, if coming to the country. Right. We, we we are asking our brothers and sisters from the West mm -hmm. and from America to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, they understand what customer service is. Yes, I understand customer service is, and so we have to make it known. That this is customer service, mm -hmm. and 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 by doing so, actually, you know something, you get more tips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so if I go to a, you know a restaurant and the service is not good, I won't give tips. You know, I'll just allow right. the service yeah. not good. Yeah. So yes, there's a problem with the customer service, mm -hmm. and you know we'll see what we can do mm -hmm. to help. If we have to create a unit somewhere that will train people, mm -hmm. uh, and we can make contact with all the restaurants. Uh, uh, hotel that mm -hmm. we have trained customer service individuals who you know right. will be happy to work for you if you need you know mm -hmm. and they will see, they begin to see the difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finally, mm -hmm. final question. Mm -hmm. How would you describe the mindset needed to make your own way in Ghana? It's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. Very big challenge. You see, everything about the mindset. And I will not even say Ghana alone, the whole continent. Mm. The mindset is disturbing. Um, you see, these are people who, for example, somebody is sick, they have to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And they go to some church, a uh, pastor who will say he's a prophet. Mm. And he will stay with that person. And when he's almost to die, before that person will say, oh, go to hospital. Mm -hmm. And if for some reason he get killed, that pastor or that you know, priest or mm -hmm. prophet mm -hmm. will claim that I cure. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. no matter how you educate them, like when you are sick, go to hospital. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. That's the mindset. Um, so that when somebody is sick, he said, oh, is my grandmother doing this to me? Is my auntie doing mm -hmm. this to me? Right. And so that mindset is there. No matter what you say, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, some will tell the children, you see, this is my sister. She's not good. Mm -hmm. If you get a kid, all of you, 
avoid it. And bring it to vision of all, all this, that mindset. Or we were brought up in a certain way of eating. Well, we're talking about food. So now let's talk about it. You know? Um, certain way of eating. So, oh, my grandmother, my great grandmother, he ate the same way. Why are you telling me today, you know? But they don't realize that the grandmother, that time the fish that come from the river or the sea is just clean. Yes. You know, and the one they give you today, look, um, take a chicken. I was telling you, some Ghanaian, I said, when I was growing up, we put corn right. in a bowl of water mm. and the chicken, the, 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 the chicken came. Mm. Today, somebody missed chemicals and dead animal to make some of feed to get a chicken. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you eat that chicken, you get sick. Yeah. Yeah. But because, <clears throat> because the mindset, the mindset, the mindset, because the mindset, they don't understand how to take this, what they call a new thing, I tell them. Yeah. But again, this is something that you have to educate them to have a change of mind. And I'm going to have to tell you okay. regarding yes. the, the mindset. mindset. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's a big problem, by the way. Yes. The big, in fact, yes. everything we talk about, yes. if only we can have the mind change. Right. It'll make all the difference. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too. For taking the time. I learned a lot. Thank yes. you. Thank, Thank you. you. So now we're going to next. Yes. We're going to look at the actual food. Yes. 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 Okay. okay. You know, we are totally digging a restaurant. And uh, we try to introduce some of the dishes that are popular and common in Ghana. And as we said in our earlier interview, um, there's something in Ghana called Kose. Basically, it's made with black eyed beans. And normally, what they do, they just blend it. I think they soak it, they blend it, and they put some, some salt and some spicy and then that's it. The fry. But it's a good dish because of the beans. So we decide to develop it or make it in a little bit different way. So we we use the same method but we we add herbs to it. And we also give 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 uh, a spicy sauce and uh, vegan mayonnaise, and we prepare all ourselves, and we also give you a bed of salad. So this is the different. Uh, the traditional one, they just get a kosi and they eat it other with, other with the cocoa, the porridge, and that's it. For us, we do it different by getting some herbs in that kosi and also we give you a bed of salad, and we give you some nice spicy sauce, because I know they can eat right spicy. I said, what is red red? What is red red? Unless it say it about the beans and the plantain, the fried plantain. But red red is known internationally. Um, and so this dish is popular in Ghana. But again, we do it. We add some green leaves to it. Because the traditional one, they just do it and the oil and the plantain and that's it. For, for us, we add something additional. So that make a difference. And want people to be aware that it's good to always eat some herbs, you know, or some vegetables. So uh, the what we prepare here, we add the spinach to it, you know, and some fresh basil and all that. So that makes a difference. Okay. That's the red red. That one which is totally, which is our identity. They made it totally, they, they use a um, very rough plantain, very rough one. And like the one somebody said, we're going to throw it away. That's what we give you. And, you. and you blend it nicely, you season it with some ginger, some garlic, and some herbs. And so they do it and they, they fry it with red oil. They don't deep fry, they put the oil on the on the pan and they, they just fry. Very nice dish. And you, you you can eat it with bambala beans, you know? Or in fact, you can be eating with the red red, the the black eyed beans. So, and slowly, I think 
this dish is being forgotten and we want to bring it back to life. And that's the one of the reasons why we, we call our restaurant Natalie. We're going to start yeah. eating now. We have the kosoye, the red red, and the tatami. And I'm having fresh carrot and apple juice. Yes, fresh carrot and apple juice. Isn't the color beautiful? And it's very fresh. It's just the right amount of spice. Good. I'm going to try a little bit of each while we're on camera. Because y'all don't need to devour the entire thing myself. Now the red brand. And I love that they add avocado to it because I love avocado. Spicy and sweet at the same time. I like it. Thank you again, Ren, so much for sharing the wisdom, the gems, the delicious food. Like I've had, I've had a wonderful time and learned so much. So thank you so much for taking the time. Appreciate it. So is there anything else you would like to add or tell you about Tatale restaurant? Well, um, we are a vegan restaurant or plant-based restaurant uh, here in Accra, Ghana, Usu. And as I always say, mm -hmm. educate the people, Eat well, live well, and it's a healthy lifestyle. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let me know, share in the comments, what you think of this experience. Are you coming to eat a Tatale restaurant? Share with me below. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, and I'll see you next time.